English is tough to speak, with rules that can make you weak. Pronunciation's quite a feat, especially for those not native to its speak. Take the O-U-G-H, for instance, oh so tough. It can be pronounced in many ways, it's rough. Through and dough and tough and foul all have different sounds. It's not easy. Wow. And then there's the G-H in high and sigh. It's silent, unheard. <sighs> but in night and light, it's pronounced just right. Good afternoon, but class. <laughs> Today, I'd like to talk to you about the importance of resetting your mindset and approach to language learning. And this topic is near and dear to my heart due to my own first-hand struggle of learning a new language. For most of you here today, that language is probably English, but for me, it's Vietnamese. As many of you know, learning a new language can often be a frustrating and challenging experience. There are times when you feel like you're taking and progressing, but there are times when you feel like you've fallen 10 steps back, and times when you feel like you're hitting a brick wall. Just like most of you, I encountered the language growing up through passing conversations, on TV series, future, music, but it wasn't until I was in college that I officially learned Vietnamese. You see, in order to get my bachelor's, I had to take two years of a foreign language. And I thought, you know, since my parents are Vietnamese, my best friend is Vietnamese, my last name is Nguyen. Easy A, right? Boy, was I wrong, as my Vietnamese at that time was just limited to basic conversations. There is this misconception that most of us learning a new language often have, and it's this idea that mistakes are bad. In fact, I often hear my past self and many of my students self-blame and say things like, I suck, or I'm so stupid. But let me tell you a secret. Listen closely. You see, when we make a mistake, it's not that we, as human beings, are wrong. It's that we're learning. Mistakes are opportunities for growth and development. They allow us to see where we need to improve and give us a chance to try again. In other words, mistakes are not a reflection of our ability. They are a reflection of our effort. And this is especially true when it comes to language learning. English, for example, it's a complex and nuanced language with many rules and exceptions. For example, if the plural of box is boxes, why is the plural of ox oxen and not oxes? It's not something that you can just pick up overnight. It takes time, lots and lots of time. Practice, lots and lots of practice. And yes, mistakes, lots and lots of mistakes. But what is a mistake? It's a misstep that can be corrected, made right. But here's the thing, it's not just about learning the language, it's about resetting our mindset. It's about resetting our mindset, and it's about 
not being fearful of making mistakes. It's understanding that language learning is a journey and not a destination. According to researcher Dr. Stephen Krashen, he says that acquiring a second language is a natural process, just like children learning the first language. In other words, we need to make mistakes and have a willingness to try new things in order to learn and improve. But too often, we become discouraged and we give up. We compare ourselves to native speakers and forget that it took them years to get to where they are now. And this is where the idea of resetting our mindset comes in. Resetting our mindset is about letting go of the perfectionist mindset and embracing the idea that mistakes is just a natural process of learning. And, but resetting isn't just about our mindset, it's also about our approach to learning. Research by Dr. Jim Cummins shows that effective second language instruction should be about a balance between language acquisition and language learning. This means that we should focus on learning language through real life experiences and interactions. By allowing ourselves to make mistakes and learn from them, in a natural and immersive environment, we can develop. So, how can we reset our mindset and our approach to learning so that we can truly learn a language? One, let go of the need for a perfectionist mindset. Remember, mistakes is just a natural part of the learning process. For example, instead of kicking myself when I make mistakes in Vietnamese, I just smile and say, Xin lỗi nha, tiếng Việt của chị không được giỏi lắm. Number two, seek out immersive experiences. This can be through traveling, meeting groups, or simply by just watching TV and listening to music. So, you know, my two years of Vietnamese in college wasn't enough. As soon as I got my master's, I came back to Vietnam to teach English, and boy, did they jam their me and give me an unwanted private tour of Ho Chi Minh City because of my foreign accent. So, I made a goal to sound like a native speaker. Although I may not understand everything. Dr. Kong? No. Here we go. Number three. Don't be afraid to ask for help. And this is probably the main reason why I married my husband. Don't I told you that. So by chance we met, fell in love, got married. But he's a Vietnamese expert. He didn't come to America until he was 18. And so we made it a promise or a contract between us that he'll help me with my Vietnamese and I'll help him with his English. It's a win-win situation for the both of us. Number four, practice regularly and consistently. Make a daily note and follow it. So now I have two kids and I make it a daily point to speak to them in Vietnamese. Partly for them, but mostly for me. Because you know what they say about learning a language. If you don't use it, you lose it. So to conclude, 
Learning a new language can be a challenging and rewarding experience. But it is important to remember that error is not a person, and that making mistakes is just a natural process when learning. By letting go of our perfectionism mindset and welcoming an immersive and interactive interaction with others, we can improve our language skills. So I'd like to end today by adding a few more lines to my poem in hopes that it'll give you some motivation. English is tough to speak with rules that can make you weak. Pronunciation's quite a feat especially for those not native to a speed. Take the O-U-G-H, for instance, oh so tough. It can be pronounced in many ways, it's rough. Through and dough and cough and plow all have different sounds, it's not easy, wow. And then there's the G-H and high and sigh. It's silent, unheard, <sighs> but in night and light, it's pronounced just right. So if you're learning English, don't give up the fight. With practice and patience, you'll be all right. The reward of speaking English fluently is worth the struggle. Trust me, you'll see. Thank you, Bakwa. Yes, that's a lot. That's a lot of power.